Hello and welcome back to my painting diaries where I'm attempting to improve my painting in the year of 2023. In the last episode, I tried to recreate a landscape scene from My Neighbor Totoro, and while I was pretty happy with how it turned out for my first attempt at painting in a few years, there is still so much I want to improve. Like last time, this is not a tutorial by any means, just a fun way to document my process and share it with all of you. So now let's begin episode two. Because I've never really taken a formal art or painting class, my actual technique I've found to be pretty lacking. When I was painting the scene last time, I was pretty much trying to copy it exactly and not thinking too much about technique, how to get the best paint consistency, or even the order I should put down colors. But if I really want to learn how to paint, I want to be able to think about those elements on my own and also eventually be able to paint my own original scenes too. So over the last few weeks, I amassed a small playlist of painting videos and tutorials on YouTube to get back to the basics and actually start learning. These videos were super helpful and inspiring, and all the videos I watched or referenced will be linked in the description so you can learn with me if you want, and go support those channels too. After taking a page of notes, I realized very early on that in all of these YouTube videos, their gouache palettes were beautiful, creamy, and gelatinous, and mine looked like this. Last time, I had struggled to get a proper consistency with the paint, so maybe my two years of neglect was playing a part in that. So enjoy this montage of me trying to revive my paints back to their former glory, which I think was at least partially successful. Then, I started by swatching out all my colors and tried to focus on both the paint consistency and grouping the colors by hue and cool versus warm tones. Immediately, I could tell that refreshing my paints was making a big difference in the texture because it was already a lot more saturated, and I realized I shouldn't be afraid to use a good healthy dollop of paint in order to achieve the right texture. This time, instead of painting a landscape, I wanted to do something a little more simple where I could focus more on color and consistency. So I decided to paint some Animal Crossing characters, one because they make me happy, and two because they have, for the most part, pretty simple shapes and color schemes. Or so I thought. This was actually extremely and deceptively challenging, and I actually had a really hard time with this. The colors weren't going down the way I wanted, and my detail work was truly lacking and pretty messy as you'll see soon enough.
also realized that recreating animated characters is particularly hard because their proportions are just really specific and getting them just a little bit off throws off the whole thing. I ended up using a pen to add some line art because without it, the shapes were pretty undefined and hard to tell what I was even going for. While I liked how parts of these came out, like the texture of the pink paint and the detail work on Daisy Mae's basket, I was overall not super satisfied with these two, so I decided to try and paint two more villagers, Rosie and Melba. Although I wasn't completely satisfied with these either, I had to let go of my perfectionism. I couldn't be too hard on myself or else this whole painting endeavor would only result in perpetual frustration. And in the end, I did have fun painting some of my favorite characters from my favorite game, so that's a win in my book. I think the main lesson learned here was that maybe I'm not ready to draw perfectly recognizable characters yet because they are way more precise and detailed than I ever imagined. The other lesson is that I think that's okay, and this still counts as progress even though it didn't feel like it. As cheesy as it may sound, I need to remember that I am learning, and to learn you have to make mistakes and allow things to be imperfect. And as much as I irrationally hate not being good at things right away, you have to start somewhere. Maybe this episode was the humbling I needed, and in the next episode I'll actually go back to the basics. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.